Hello, today we're going to demonstrate Cisco's DNA Center Assurance Wi-Fi 6 dashboard. You quickly navigate to this dashboard by selecting the menu icon in the upper left hand corner, selecting Assurance, and then picking Wi-Fi 6 dashboard from the available dashboards. Like all Assurance dashboards, I can adjust the context from the global level to a specific site to a specific building. I can also adjust the time range displayed to the past 3 hours, 24 hours, or 7 days. And I can do this for any data up to the last 14 days. Additionally, I can filter the output by SSID, group of SSIDs, or by selecting the band of operation. Now once into the dashboard, I'm presented with the Insights pane, which tells me quickly what percentage of clients and what percentage of APs on the network are Wi-Fi 6 capable and ready. It also offers some advice to consider upgrading to the latest OS or iOS XE, and, of course, upgrading my APs to the Catalyst 9100 Wi-Fi 6 AP series. Data for Wi-Fi 6 clients can be discovered by all Cisco 802.11ac Wave 2 APs. The first dashlet is the client distribution by capability. This dashlet shows me what percentage of my clients are Wi-Fi 6, as well as what percentage of those clients are finding Wi-Fi 6 resources. I can view this data as trend data and get very specific information at given dates and times. I can also drill down further into the View Details tab. On the Trend menu, I can select a date and time and display specific information for that date and time. This allows me to look at the top access points, by location, by client count, by host, and selecting any of these applies it to the data displayed below as a filter. I can also export this data as a CSV file. Wi-Fi 6 network readiness gives me a different view. Of the five APs on my network, three of these APs are Wi-Fi 6 APs, and of those three APs, all of them are presently enabled for OFDMA and Wi-Fi 6 operation. If I drill down in the view details, selecting any of these elements displays the list of APs that created that. Notice that I said which ones are enabled. So at the radio level, it shows me radio 0, radio 1, the status of Wi-Fi 6 enablement, but I also have a controller to consider and I have Wi-Fi 6 configs for 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. So this quickly lets me evaluate of my Wi-Fi 6 resources on the network what the status is and how they're configured presently. The third dashlet is AP distribution by protocol. This dashlet shows me the APs again, but breaks them out by protocol specifically. So I have three Wi-Fi 6 APs, and I have two Wi-Fi uh, 11AC APs. Again, I can view the data. I can drill down as a trend. And selecting a date from the trend line, again, gives me more information below. Notice in this information below, if it's a device or an AP, I've got the overall health of that device, and this lets me quickly take a look at the devices and their relative health. Touching any of these drills down immediately to the Assurance device views. So if I suspected that I had a problem or I was seeing misinformation from a client or from, from a uh, AP that was reflected in those views, I could quickly and easily navigate over to the Device 360 or the Client 360 views to establish what's going on with that client.
So that takes care of the APs on the network. Next question that you're going to hear probably is, of the Wi-Fi 6 resources, are we really getting benefit from that? How do you demonstrate that? Well, Wi-Fi 6 has a lot of promises. But low latency is one of the ones that we're really focused on, and efficiency over the air. So wireless air time efficiency shows me the amount of data that's been transmitted and the amount of time that it took to transmit that data for Wi-Fi 6 and non-Wi-Fi 6 devices. Again, first thing it tells me is that voice is 55.79% more efficient on a Wi-Fi 6 network, and we call that voice because that's where we had the filter set. We can select to view video, best effort traffic, and again, we can take a look at this as a trend. Drilling down on this data allows me to select a point in the trend chart, and again, display the relevant information that's involved. Lastly, we have wireless latency by client count. This chart shows me how much latency each client is experiencing. And voice latency is 4.66% less on a Wi-Fi 6 network. I get 154.31% improvement for Wi-Fi 6 over non-Wi-Fi 6. And again, we have the now familiar trend line view and the ability to drill down for more granular data.